Hello, my name is Taya Graham and I'm an independent journalist in Baltimore City and I'm here to help you understand your rights and hopefully arrest proof yourself. The first step is to know your rights. It's important to understand the laws in your state, including the right to remain silent and the right to an attorney. Additionally, it is important to know the difference between a felony, a misdemeanor, and a civil right. A police officer violating your constitutionally protected rights, well, your case may eventually hold up in court and lead to your charges being dismissed, but it won't keep you from going to jail that night. So please make your choice wisely. Second, if you are stopped by the police, stay calm and polite. Don't give them an excuse to write that you were disorderly or interfering with their investigation or their ability to do their job. In fact, using profanity in public around a police officer can legitimately get you arrested. For example, in areas of North Carolina, public use of profanity within earshot of two people on a public road or highway can get you charged. So be sure to know the laws in your state and cities because Alabama, South Carolina, and Virginia also have statutes that make profanity and public illegal. So know your local ordinances and make sure you do not resist arrest and know that you should always remain silent unless you have an attorney present. You are required to give your name to an officer. Give the least possible basic information. Then ask them if you're being detained. If you are not, get the heck out of there. If they start asking you questions, say, I don't answer any questions without a lawyer present. Do not volunteer information. You never know how it could be used against you. If they ask when you're in a car, you do need to show your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance roll your window down as little as possible to allow the transfer of information because often officers will stick their head in or a flashlight in and use the allegation of smelling either alcohol or marijuana as an excuse to further access your vehicle or perhaps they might see a suspicious shape on the back seat but if the officer asks to look inside your car you can refuse to consent to the search and make sure you say it clearly and calmly. If they ask why, have a good simple reason ready like I'm running late to pick up a friend from work. And I didn't mention yet the most important thing, record, record, record. Live stream to a platform if you can, if you're really quick fingered enough so it can't be deleted later. Make sure your phone is locked with a number pin, not with facial recognition or a finger because they can get that from you even while you're in cuffs but you can conveniently forget the code to your phone. It is also important to remember that you should never give false information to the police. That will usually make things worse and it can backfire later. Finally, it is important to be aware of your surroundings. Stay alert and aware of people or situations that could potentially put you in danger of being arrested because honestly, the best way to arrest proof yourself is to avoid any possible interaction with police. I have learned a lot through my interactions with civil rights attorneys and criminal attorneys and cop watchers and auditors and as a reporter and of course just surviving Baltimore City and I will try to update you with more tips on how to arrest proof yourself both at home and on the road and if you are brave enough to go out in the world and be a cop watcher or citizen journalist hopefully I'll have some ideas and tips to assist you too. Remember, please be safe out there.